Jeremy's inside, so that means the storm is at least close to us. That's right, Lisa. We have it actually almost overhead here in our backyard. I'm sure those of you who are in Sullivan and Wyoming counties, you already saw this storm roll through, and now it's going towards Luzerne County. So those of you in Exeter and Taylor and uh, also down through Harvey's Lake, you're going to see the downpours very soon too. In our backyard, I'd say it's going to start in another four or five minutes, so that's why I'm inside. But this is the feel good at 430, so I do want to talk about good things that happened. And last night was the Scrantastic Spectacular, and I spent some time down in downtown Scranton, right there on Courthouse Square. And this was the finale of the fireworks, of course, with the Scranton Electric City sign ablaze, just like the fireworks to their left. Beautiful night, and it was a perfect night for fireworks. If you do go to the fireworks shows tonight, it's not going to be as great. We will have those showers and thunderstorms as a threat. So if you got to enjoy them last night, it was really perfect. And everybody clapped, as, of course, at the end as well. While I was there, I also found myself finding someone that I knew, not just one person, but two, Fro Doc and Chewy from Froggy 101. And they're now good friends of mine. I've been on their show several times. I look forward to being on their show again next month. And uh, they had a whole section down there and they were of course trying their pond water which is their new beer so i'm really glad i was able to see them and uh, that was definitely a good part of yesterday now we are dealing with those storms and we do have the severe thunderstorm warning right now in effect for northern luzerne county also southern lackawanna county so we're in that too we're just to the south of scranton here in music so we're under this severe thunderstorm warning could pack a punch of some gusty winds as well as some heavy rainfall in a very short period of time but what's good about these storms is that they're passing so you can see them here on radar red yellows, oranges, indicating those heavy downpours, maybe even some very small pea-sized hail within this storm. This is the one that has that severe thunderstorm tag on it, so I want to zoom in tight and show you when it's going to reach certain locations next. So in the next few minutes for Scranton. 5 o'clock by Wilkesbury, 508 by Nanticoke, 520 for Dorrance, and by the time it gets to Berwick, it'll probably be around 530. But I want to not discount the fact that there are storms rolling through a lot of the region. It's just that not all of them are tagged as severe. But the one near White Deer is also putting down a lot of rainfall a very short period of time. We just saw that rainfall in Williamsport headed towards Muncie Creek. We also have this line of showers and thunderstorms up in Potter and Tioga counties hitting Tawanda in just a few minutes as well. And this will come through once again towards the south and east, and we'll see another round of showers and thunderstorms here in the Valley Cities in another two or three hours. So we're not pretty much done with these storms until we're around 11, 12 o'clock, but we will have rounds of these uh, possible downpours. Once they do clear out, you'll see the sunshine, then you'll see the rain showers again though too. So just stay weather aware. There's the weather setup. We have two low pressure systems. This is our shot for rainfall today into tomorrow, and this is our shot for rainfall Friday night into Saturday. So we do have several shots, but I think we're going to have primarily dry conditions for your afternoon on Friday and your afternoon on Saturday. This is the current view in Williamsport. You can see the rainfall falling right now there, and this is the view from our rooftop camera. We do have some raindrops uh, in that darkening cloud there just to our north now pushing into the backyard. Current temperature 87 degrees, feeling like 92 with the added humidity. Some temperatures already breaking the 90 degree mark there in Danville and Lewisburg, 90 in Sealands Grove with the added humidity in that tropical range. It's feeling like the mid 90s in some locations. It's a hot one and it's going to be like that tomorrow as well. Some additional showers overnight tonight. I think they're going to continue through the overnight, possibly even towards tomorrow morning. But once we get to the early afternoon, we clear out and we have a lot of sunshine starting by around 2, 3 o'clock and continuing through the afternoon. Another round of showers overnight Friday into Saturday. But through your day on Saturday, we got clear skies once again as well. Here's your seven-day forecast. I think it's going to be a nice one for your Sunday. That's when we're going to have less humidity. Also, uh, probably no chance for rainfall. Monday looks good as well. Then we got a chance for showers and thunderstorms once again Tuesday through Thursday of next week, Lisa. All right, so again, we just have to be weather aware, especially tonight because there are a number of fireworks displays happening. And of course, people are having cookouts and celebrations for the 4th of July, so just keep an eye on the forecast. If you see these storms rolling in, you can see them in the sky. Come inside for a little while. All right, thank you, Jeremy. Yep.